It is a normal practice for workers in public institutions in Ghana to be transferred periodically after spending periods of time at places of their employment. But teacher associations here in the Western region are not happy about the way the regional director of education has gone about these transfers. If you are transferring uh, uh, such a person, at least, at least let the person know because the reason why we are saying that is that uh, the person has rented a room maybe closer to the school, paid advance. Then you are asking him to go to another school. He has put his children into a new the schools. He has paid their school fees. Then you are moving to another location. It means you have to also take time to even uh, go and pick your uh, kids in and out from what? School. Is it not affecting productivity? Meanwhile, recently they were talking about uh, productivity. When they gave us the 30%, they were talking about productivity. At a press conference here in Takrade at the NATO, they enumerated the reasons why they think these could have been done in a different way. Ended with a call on the regional director to hold on for now and perhaps make the transfers the next academic year. If you look at our collective uh, bargaining agreement, uh, section 1510, it states st uh, categorically that if you are transferring one person from one location to another, where the person uh, has to move uh, belongings, the person is entitled to a transfer grant of three months gross salary. They are silent on that. And it will surprise you to know that of all the 16 regions that we have in Ghana, it's only Western region that this thing is going on. We are calling on all stakeholders that they should talk to the regional director for us. Hold on with the uh, transfer until the time that everything is set. The Western Regional Director of Education, Flisha Ejebia Okai, who is currently out of the region, explained via a telephone interview that the transfers are geared towards positive learning outcomes of the children and doesn't understand why the teachers are agitating. It's a way, it's something we are trying to do to improve learning outcomes. That's all. Whatever the case may be, it is hoped that this will be resolved amicably to ensure that there is conducive learning environment for both teachers and students for positive outcomes. Era Masmet, TV3 News, Takradi.